What's poppin' my honey boo-boos? It's your girl Dest and we are in the whip today and I also got some Mexican fast food so we're gonna do a little mukbang Q&A. Oh I don't like how these blankets look back here. Let me try to pretend like my car is clean. I also got a little serum mist. They only had the cans but honestly I kind of think the cans are the best just me I asked y'all to send me some questions on my Instagram be sure to follow me on Instagram life being dest and you already know I gotta take a blinker so cheers We lit though. <coughs> okay. So. <coughs> Ooh, this looks fire. I've never tried their shrimp fries. I, You guys know I don't eat carne asada, but I do eat seafood. So I always substitute the carne asada fries, um, the carne, for shrimp the bottom of this feels dirty i'm gonna need a napkin to buy it but they put jalapenos they literally put jalapenos i love jalapenos how'd they know that's so random i mean carne asada fries really aren't even like real mexican food but traditionally it's not made with jalapenos <laughs> i also got something else y'all i low-key ordered way too much food Ooh, we got some potato tacos. The only thing I've tried from this fast food spot is their rolled potato tacos. And I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't the biggest fan. I felt like there wasn't a lot of potato in it. It was mostly like fried tortilla. But they were not shysty with the green sauce, that's for sure. Comment down below, what do y'all prefer, green sauce or red sauce? But yeah, I'm starving. So, I'm going to just get started. Get on into it. Oh, no. I'm already making a mess. I want y'all to be able to see what I'm what I'm doing. It's hard, though, because, I mean, I'm in the car, you know? Mm, okay. We got our sauce. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. Better than the road tacos. I just devoured that taco <laughs> like so quick I don't even think I breathed that was low-key I mean I'm low-key really why do I stay low-key for everything I need to stop why did I hear that Texas got the best Mexican food like, I'm about to go to Texas, y'all. <laughs> Just for the Mexican food. Because I used to think San Diego had really good Mexican food, but they honestly don't. Like, Tijuana does, but not San Diego. Let me check my Insta, see if y'all sent any questions yet. I barely posted it, so. All right, I'm going to dive into these... I'm gonna dive in. Oh shit. And one of the questions y'all asked was what is the best things to do when you're high and alone? And I think what I'm doing right now. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm liking it. Mm-hmm. With the jalapeno. Mm-hmm. Another thing you could do high and alone is um another thing you could do high and alone is self-care. Uh take a bath with the joint and a movie watch a movie get some munchies do a face mask you could even cook yourself some dinner at home um try a new recipe that's super fun while you're high put on a movie in the background such a chill vibe another thing you could do is go for a walk i mean that kind of sounds basic but honestly when you're high going for a walk i swear i'd be appreciating like the squirrel i'd be like look at the squirrel like i don't know why just me <laughs> but i think those are all good things to do while you're high by yourself somebody asked are you still moving and i am still moving y'all i am i actually just filmed a podcast for um high cast season two episode one so um that's season two of my podcast and with the rebranding and stuff in that podcast episode i talk way more in detail about what's going on with my moving situation and all that but yes to answer the question i am still moving Honey Boo Boo asked if I would get any tattoos in the future. Mm. The truth is, mm -mm. I hope not. I feel like I feel like I want a lot of piercings and I want a lot of different tattoos. But I honestly don't know if it's really what I want or if it's just like a temporary want. You know when you think you want something but it's like do you really want it? And like piercings you could take them out. But tattoos you're pretty much stuck with them. So. Mm, I don't know. But I do want to get a tattoo um, for my little sister. Her name is Luna, so I wanted to get, like, a moon tatted. But, I don't know. I feel like I might get that, but besides that, I don't think I'll get anything else. But I don't even know if I'm going to get that, because I'm, like, not sure if I really want tattoos. I almost went to the Cheesecake Factory. I almost did. But I did not. And I ended up... Here. <laughs> I didn't go because... It's Friday. The day I'm filming this. And it's just like... Friday, Cheesecake Factory, they're going to be busy, they're going to be mad, like, bad vibes. And then, they don't have drive through So, nah. Somebody asked, how have you been managing your anxiety? And, I have no freaking idea. <laughs> Sometimes, like... You just have to do it. Either you just go through it or you just don't get stuff done. And I've procrastinated, especially recently, because I had a lot of anxiety doing things and I was avoiding doing it because I was like, no, I'm going to get major anxiety. But it got to the point where I couldn't keep procrastinating and I just had to do it. So I feel like I haven't really been managing it. I've just been like toughing it out and like, 
doing what I gotta do and like ignoring my anxiety almost but yeah honestly it's been kind of working <laughs> maybe if you struggle with anxiety I know it's easier said than done but you could try that maybe possibly I don't know girl I'll I don't even know we all just trying out here we all just try it this is a good question. Somebody asked, out of all of the pens slash disposables you've tried, which do you prefer? <gasps> Moment of truth. I have to be honest. My favorite pen is the one that's closest to me and charged. Because <laughs> you don't understand how many times I've tried to hit a pen and it was dead because I'm the worst at charging my batteries. Yeah, as long as it's charged, it's on, it got something in it, it's my favorite. <laughs> I feel like I'm not that picky, to be honest. Somebody asked, how do you manage to maintain a wealthy lifestyle? You inspire me so much. Oh, I'm so glad I'm able to inspire you. But this is a good opportunity to tell you guys that what you see on the internet is not always true. I'm sleeping on a mattress right now that's on the floor <laughs> because my living situation's like all over the place. But that's just temporary. But also, like, that could very much be true. Like, I don't know. Like, people rent cars to look cool. People rent clothes. People rent bags. Not saying that I did any of those things. But, of course, like, people post what they want you to think. People post that they want you to think that you're so confident and you have the biggest... They have, the, you know, the, uh, people post with their angles just right. They don't post from their bad angles. They post from their good angles. And it's because... They want to portray this image of themselves that they're like perfect and da, 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 da. so um yeah thank you i'm very flattered but honestly my lifestyle especially when you shouldn't compare you know your life to the next person but when you when you say wealthy a lot of people would look at me in my lifestyle and be like yeah no she ain't, you know <laughs> so um but maybe what you mean by that is like wealthy compared to what i once was like five years ago and <clears throat> in that case that that's just hard work and dedication finally paying off none of this came to me overnight None of it. <laughs> Me with my fork. None of it. <laughs> but yeah, that's another good thing to remember is that even if you do see people like, and you're like, no, but I do see them living this life. You know, they do live this lifestyle. Like, you're like, I see it. Well, guess what? They didn't get that overnight. It took them probably a long time to work for it. So, um, yeah. Yeah. And when you work hard for something, I feel like it, it has a different type of meaning to you. And things that come easy, I feel like you lose them easily. Isn't that weird? I feel like everything in my life that came easy to me was then taken from me real easily too. But the things that I worked really, really hard for, um, some of those things I still have. And it's like I ain't gonna let it, you know, slip easy between these fingers because I work so hard for it so I'm gonna hold on tight where would I go next for a solo trip honestly I feel like it's time I do something crazy crazy and go to like Rome or Italy or something like really crazy but at the same time I don't know if I'm mentally prepared yet. I think I'll cry my eyeballs out. Um, just because, I don't know, I'm like dramatic. But hopefully soon I'll be ready because for sure. Because, yeah. Let's eat this taco. Cheers. This person is in their car. Is 
It's giving NPC. It's giving ultimate NPC vibes. This taco kind of sucks. I would rate the tacos like a... Oh, to write the tacos. Uh, a four. I'll rate them a four. If they, oh, they could have made them so good. You know what? It makes me so sad that I can't find any good Mexican like drive throughs When I used to eat meat, it used to be easy. Because, like, I don't know. I guess, like, I, like how can you fuck up on meat? But now that I don't eat meat, but like, how do you mess up on vegetarian food? I'm confused. I'm stuffed. What else am I going to do? I'm literally going to go home and like t go to sleep. But low key, I'm okay with that. I'll watch Netflix. I'll be chilling. I don't give a fuck because I ain't need no buck. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Not me trying to rap. Oh my God. You know what? Just pretend we didn't hear Cut. Cut the cameras. Black China, cut the cameras. No, she's like this. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Do you think you'd be able to live without smoking? Definitely not. Just kidding, yeah. But not really. Yay, Benet. It depends. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know. That's hard to say. I feel like, honestly, let me see my honest. I honestly feel like I probably can. To be honest, yeah. I, I think I could live without anything. <laughs> Damn, I have no heart. I said anything. How do you stay happy? Eating fast food and smoking fat blunts and talking to you guys. Who, what keeps you motivated on days where you can't get up? Mm, who keeps me motivated on days I can't get up? Um, kind of my old self, to be honest. I don't know if that's kind of like selfish to say or like cliche or whatever. But I genuinely feel like when I think back, because there was a time where uh, I feel like we always have potential, but there's times where we don't use our full potential. So I feel like there was a time where I wasn't using my full potential and I started to like kind of take a downward motion. <laughs> like, you know, I was going down in life, basically, like taking the wrong path, pretty much, and making the wrong choices and stuff like that. And I was just like, and the reason why I was doing all that is because I was kind of like giving up. That was like me giving up on like everything was like you know just deciding not to do what i gotta do to be successful and um i think back of, to that time and instantly it makes me want to hop out of bed because i'm like no way am i going back there like no way like even though you're in pain right now or you're going through it or you're not doing good mentally or however whatever that negative feeling you're feeling right now i remind myself it's never it's not as bad as i felt back then and even when i did feel bad back then and i took the wrong path taking the wrong path didn't make it feel better like that it didn't make that pain feel any less so it made it feel worse and at the end of the day it was worse because it was affecting my income it was affecting my future and all that so um and there's times where i think about it i'm like what if that never happened and what if i just kept taking that incline in life and succeeding and doing good, I would have been, I feel like I would have been so much further than where I'm at right now, but it's not good to think like that. So I don't dwell. I just make sure I do better now. You know what I mean? But anyways, you guys, my camera's about to die. So I'm going to head on out. This was a fun grub sesh. Um, super fun. Um, 
thank you for being here. Like, I genuinely feel like y'all are my beautiful best friends. I feel all the hugs. I'm sending y'all huge, huge, huge hugs. LBD fam unstoppable, baby. And I'll talk to y'all very soon. Double deuce. Until next time. <sighs> We don't have a lot of people where they tell you how great you're doing. When I got this apartment, my family was just like, how are you gonna pay for this? How much is the rent? Once it was months in or a year in, like even then, like nobody told me like, damn. And you know what? It's a lesson for me because I shouldn't need validation from anyone. I should recognize my greatness just by looking in the mirror.